What's going on guys? This is Doofus McDoofus Streaming. Uh, today I just wanted to give a little insight onto Welcome how to split, to sort of for beginners, and sort of why you split. Um, so all I need to do, I just need a tank unit and a ranged unit, that's fine. So, there's the normal thing somebody would might do would just start strong unit right, right in the middle of the wave. Uh, that's good and all, but it's going to take all of the damage. Every unit's going to be attacking your one tank unit. So, that's not great for late game. Early on it can work, uh, but as you get later, the units get so powerful that one unit is going to go down fast. So, what I like to do, there's two ways you can split, in my opinion. You can do an equal split, or you can do... A weak split on one side but first I'll go over an equal split let me delete that this is what I would open up with I would actually open up with an equal split so I've got I can even show that just for uh, grid purposes on the same lane I've got two golden bucklers so when the wave comes half of the units go to one golden buckler half of the units go to the other golden buckler and what I like to do is I, I sort of play strong side. Uh, I still have the tanks pretty equal, but I do have a DPS side. So I would start like this. This would be my wave one open. I do it a lot. And this left side golden buckler is going to survive for a while. It might die, but then the right side is going to converge and kill the units. Uh, just for... I could show you guys, but you know, I'm going to clear, left side is going to barely die, right side's going to clear easily, and then kill the, the little leaks on the left side, super easy. And what I like to do as the game keeps going on, I'll build one side a little stronger. So now this, this is definitely leaking on wave two, on the left side, but the right side's going to be strong. Now, later on in the game, there is something other people like to do is you just you just split the units purely for that like two or three second two or three seconds to get your your main side killing killing the uh killing the units faster what would that look like that would look like a tank unit that's strong on the right side or left side you can do either and then a weak tank on the left side or whatever side you choose. So as the units come out, they're gonna obliterate your weak side. Okay, they're gonna go right through them, easily ob obliterate them. But your strong side, if let's say you had a ton of DPS, you know, let's say you had a couple of Sky Queens over here, just blowing through your strong side. And then your strong side's probably gonna get hit because you've gone for a weak split which can work. I prefer an equal split. Uh, so as the game goes on, I keep going back and forth. I'll have my strong side with my DPS, which right here, it's my right side. So I might go, go buckler. But then I've got to, I've got to match the left side. When, when my left side starts breaking down, then I'll put additional units. Because in a perfect world, my, t my strong tank side is going to Beat the units right, right as my weak side dies. So you'll see that the units right here will just start to move over to my tanks, right as my tanks on the strong side move over. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see, is there anything else I need to talk about? Uh, I mean, why do we split? I think I already said that. Just to sort of. Sort of keep your tanks alive. Uh, let me just show you guys a couple examples, though. So, I would open with an equal split. This is actually how I open a lot of games. Just delete these units. By the way, if there's anything else you guys want me to train on, I'm going to start working on these training videos. Not the best teacher, but... So, I would easily open here. 
Uh, I'd go golden buckler on each side, make sure that they're equal. Th Actually, I'll go into that in a second. Uh, making sure they're both equal, perfect. I've picked a DPS side, which in this case is my right side. Let's just start the whip. Oh, I, I also would have gone two workers. Because um, that's 135. I would have had 15, 15 uh, gold left over. So, this is, this is your basic split. That's how it goes. Easy peasy. Okay. See, as I said, your strong side with the DPS rotates over to your weak side. It's perfect. It's awesome. That's what we want to see. Uh, some mistakes that can happen. This, this is pretty big, pretty important. Uh, I've, I've done this before many times. This is a mistake. Uh, watch this. It's perfect timing. Get that. What's going to happen here is after after my golden buckler right here on the left side goes down. It actually is kind of kind of powerful here. So I might have screwed up. But if the golden buckler goes down and it leaks the polywalk, see it, I'm too strong here. Gosh darn it. I'll just not put anything down here. But it'll be up in a second. I guess you guys got to wait 20 seconds. What's going to happen here? The, this this weak, weak unit is going to die. It's going to rotate back to your DPS. You do not want DPS, ranged DPS, on your weak side. Because then my Harpy, my main DPS side, is going to get hit. It, it'll, it'll be right here. Just watch this. I wish you could, like, start the waves earlier and pause them. Yeah, this this will be perfect. Also, I might have needed another harpy over here to show you guys, but... See? Right there. Because I had a ranged DPS unit on the weak, the weak split side, just totally annihilated my DPS. We do not want that one bit. Not good. Okay. Don't do it. I've done it before where I had a pier I had a fire archer. It's it's gonna screw up your wave. So do not have that, okay? Don't do it. Bad. Another mistake that can be made. See? Now I have an off off balance split. I'm gonna pull more units to one side. If I matched them up, it'd be fine. But in this case, I did not match them up. And you're going to see more units rotate to that side. Well, usually. I still w I wouldn't advise it. Okay. It went okay there. But I have seen uh, in, in, a, in a tanking situation. On wave 5, it, it'll be demonstrable that... And I'll just I'll leave it how it is. I'm I'm gonna leak leak the boss though. I kind of don't want to leak the boss, but, but yeah, right here, the boss should rotate here to the left side, and it's not gonna split properly. Um, that's why you'd want another golden buckler over there. Or what you can always do is put golden buckler down there instead of this one. See? Total clusterfuck right there. Don't want that at all. I want it perfectly split. But because I had that unit right there and didn't match it up on the other side, my split is useless. Don't want that. Make sure you can always check your grid. This is your grid by holding tab. Tab. I keep clearing, but it's just because I had <laughs> more value than actually would happen in a game. So, don't put a ranged DPS unit on your weak side. Make sure that your tanks are at least equal spot-wise. And personally, I always like to go strong on one side. 
Also, this is just a little, a little thing. Uh, harpies and great boars, you always want to put at the back of the map. Uh, this is just a little, a little extra bit since you're still watching. Uh, harpies start with zero mana, but gain mana when it moves before entering battle. So, the farther back that the harpy is, the more mana it starts with which makes it way more OP. Same thing with Great Boar. It has a Stampede. Here. Stampede that does the exact same thing. Charges into battle, builds up more damage the farther it rotates. One last thing. If you're doing a strong side range DPS split, I only use the four, the four grid boxes on my DPS side. So right here, I'm going to get annihilated. Because once again, these harpies are too far over. So there's a good chance that if I leak, which I'm going to leak on the left side. See? Because I put them too far over. Look at that. Total mistake. Don't do it. Now my DPS is in trouble. My DPS is getting smacked. Do not want that. Don't want that at all. So that's why you always want to use those four grid spots. Even if, even if you have harpies, which I always run harpies. Yes, you want you want that distance, but it's not worth it. It's not worth losing the game over. So don't have those harpies back there. I just like those four spots. Those four spots, you'll be fine. Right here, there'd be no trouble. No trouble at all. But, that's pretty much the basics. Uh, no range DPS. I, I keep saying this because I've done it so many times. You guys don't get to see the videos that I screw up my splits. Don't put range DPS there. Make sure that your grid is equal. Because that gives you the best chance to not have... Not have the units leak into your into your DPS lane because if they leak into your DPS lane you're screwed you might clear it but you gotta fix that up ASAP um yeah and I'm someone I just like I usually build back to be completely honest I'm not usually the person that f sort of flattens out but you can you can flatten out the lane um and of course, don't do the great boars. I'm just showing this uh, for demonstrative purposes. But that's pretty much the basics of splitting. If I didn't describe it too well, please leave your questions in the comments below. I think I might be able to sort of give you a better idea of how to fix it uh, through words without the video going. Uh, wish I could pause these waves. But yeah. Uh, definitely try splitting. I, once again, prefer equal equal splits with a strong DPS side. I think that works best. And uh, let me know what you guys think. See you in the next training bit.